well, a lot of people have been making their way to the Mother City because when it comes to South African sporting events, there aren't many that can match the Rugby Sevens tournament. So this weekend, the Mother City is playing host to South African leg of the World Seven Series. And we got to spend some time with the Springbok Sevens uh, during their off time. And this is just ahead of this electrifying showpiece. After far too long a wait, finally the HSBC 7 Series has returned and returns to South Africa for the Cape Town leg at the Cape Town Stadium in early December. Not only is it going to bring out the cream of the crop when it comes to those international players and there's going to be some fierce rivalries, so we've returned to the annual media day to reconnect with our Blitzbox and also experience firsthand for ourselves what the Mother City has to offer. We might even be able to sneak in a Friday dance. It's going to be a blistering day. Taking over the race from Port Elizabeth, this is the second time that Cape Town has been part of the series tour and the Blitzbocker decided to do a flash mob to get locals excited for the big sport showdown. So Blake is the master choreographing this little flash mob here. Brother, first of all, what are your thoughts? I mean, we've got some pretty fit like sweating here, dude. Definitely, definitely better than I expected it to be. The guys came in here with good energy, came in here focused and ready for action. Things are getting heated today. We're running over the moves, we're polishing it. I can't wait to perform the flash mob later. I think the key word here is teamwork. Everybody's coming with their own flavor and their own style, and I can't wait to see us all pull it together. Both dripping with sweat, but you got the moves, bro. Did you expect this today? No, I didn't know because last year we didn't do this, and I must say this is the best part, and I, I think I would like to do it often. Of course, very different story, performing this in front of a crowd full of strangers at a ball. How are you feeling about the impending flash mob? No, I think I'm confident, and my teammates is also confident, confident around me, so I think we will, we will do this something. It will be great. Leading from the front. I feel pretty proud. Hey, how are you feeling, dude? Yeah, definitely. I didn't know I had it in me. But uh, you know, after some good training, good day's work, I think, uh, I think I've got it. I think you, Hugh Bladen would be proud, eh? Well, once again, you have to ask yourself the question, has he had enough preparation for this unbelievable experience they're going to take over the mall? Please don't forget to move, Chris. <laughs> On an average sunny day in the Mother City, people got quite the surprise as Burley rugby players proved that they can entertain in dance as well as on the field. And the crowd loved it. Oh, now that the adrenaline is subsiding, how are you feeling about the performance, bro? It's awesome, it's awesome. I can't explain the feeling, but to get involved and the people getting involved, it's just like adrenaline the whole way up. I have to ask, how does that compare to running out onto the field to play an intense game of rugby? I think this is something else, but when you come to Cape Town and the crowd goes on like this, you just get the extra energy. Oh, and we got the, the, the crowd pleasing steps, my brother. Well done, dude. We did so well, man. <laughs> Always a powerhouse in the World 7 Series, the Blitzbocker narrowly missed out on the title last season. This year, our boys in green and gold want to win on home soil and the championship title. A year of coming so close, yet being so far away. What still needs to click? What can you improve on, if anything? Yeah, very exciting last couple of years. I mean, to come second three years in a row, it's really last hurdle kind of stuff. So um, we're looking at a couple more finals. Um, you know, it's always important to get those finals, first of all, and then win the thing. You know, it's, it's, it's an awesome experience to be playing in finals, be able to sing the national anthem in front of, uh, you know, foreign crowds and everything like that. But to go that last mile, to finish that stretch, just to take home those last couple of points that are on the table is really important to making sure that your World Series title contentions are right in the bag. How much are you looking forward to Sevens Rugby coming back to Cape Town Stadium this year? The, the first leg of the series now Dubai and then back down to Cape Town is, is probably one of the favourite trips for a lot of people. You know, summertime breakaway, December, December holidays, you get to come down to, to Cape Town experience. Uh, a lot of sun, hopefully a little bit less wind, but you know, the pound goes very far, the dollar goes incredibly far here. Um, it's just a great place to be in December and we're pretty excited to have Sevens Rugby in Cape Town. So as proceedings come to a close, I have to say thank you so much to the Blitzbocker, their management and all of the journalists that joined us for this media day. This, what a rare opportunity to get to know some incredible guys and squeeze in a bit of a Friday dance as well. I can tell you one thing, that this year's Cape Town 7 series that kicks off on the 10th, running until the 11th of December, is going to be unforgettable. So whether you're a player or a fan, make sure that you get there.